In the Old Testament, when people were confronted with their sin, especially the sin of the nation of Israel, but we also saw it with the people of Nineveh, the leaders of the people and many of the people would tear their clothes and throw ashes on their head in, as signs of repentance. And I think that for many of us as believers over this last year in our country, we have been faced with those moments when we need to do the same thing. The Bible tells us that righteousness exalts a nation, a nation but sin is a reproach to any people. And while it wasn't talking about the nation of America, the principle is the same, that where there is righteousness, a nation is exalted because God is exalted in the people that make up that nation. Sin is a disgrace. And I think over the course of this last year, we have seen disgrace after disgrace after disgrace. The Bible is very clear about how we should treat people. It talks about the fact that all people are created in the image of God and have innate dignity because of that. But we have not always treated them that way. It talks about the value of life from the womb to the tomb. And we have not shown value for that life. It talks about how we should treat the poor and the stranger among us. And we have not followed those principles in many cases. It talks about the fact that there shouldn't be differing weights and measures. And I think that in includes the weights and measures of justice. But we know that that has been the case. We have had those differing weights and measures. We know that the Bible says that we should have no other gods before the true God. But many of us have made an idol out of our politics and our ideology. And so I think like those kings and people of old, we need to repent. And maybe we don't throw ashes on ourselves and tear our clothes in public, but we need to come before God. It seems like a big problem. And sometimes you think, what can I do as one person? And I think we start by praying the words of David in Psalm 51. He said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressor, transgressors your ways and sinners will be converted to you. David's emphasis was on himself and his personal sin. And I think that's where we start. We pray that God would create a clean heart in us, that he would point out to us those areas of sin in our life where we need to repent and that he would renew a right or a steadfast spirit in us, that we would follow him wholeheartedly. It talks about re don't cast me away from your presence and, and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. And we know that in the Old Testament, there were times when God's spirit came and went on people, but that's not the case now. As followers of Jesus, we have the gift of the Holy Spirit. God won't take that away, but we can become callous to the Spirit's leading in our life when we allow sin to, to sit in our lives, when we don't repent of that sin. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will be converted to you. And that's not like David's bargaining with God. God, if you do this for me, then I'll teach sinners your ways and they'll be converted to you. I think what David is saying is when you have restored me, then I will be in a place where I can teach others. When I am walking rightly with you, when I am paying attention to your spirit, when I have that clean heart created in me, then I can walk rightly with you and I can teach others. And then other people will come to know you. And I think that should be our prayer today. God, create in us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within us. Restore to us the joy of your salvation so that we can represent you well in a world that is 
deeply, deeply broken and deeply needy and is looking for that time when you will restore all things. Father, start with me, start with us, start today. Amen.